All right, same with this one. We need this as a ratio in lowest terms, so let's write this first as a ratio. 5 and 3 fourths, 2, 2 and 1 half. So what I'm going to do is change both of these into improper fractions first. So I got 5 times 4 plus 3, that would be 23 fourths. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 halves. Now this is a ratio like this with the colon, but we can easily replace that with division as well. The problem here is that we don't usually divide fractions like this. We usually multiply them, but to change this into multiplication, we're going to have to reciprocate our divisor, making it 2 fifths. So I got 23 fourths times 2 fifths. And if you really wanted to, at this point, you could reduce the 2 and the 4. Not that you'd have to, but you could. And that will just make things work a little bit smoother. 23 times 1 is 23 over 2 times 5 is 10. So as a ratio for this one we would write 23 to 10 like this. All right, what is his rate in miles per hour? Bobby drove uh, 2,184 miles in 42 hours. Let's see what his rate is. So first I'm gonna set this up as a proportion for me. And right here we're comparing miles and hours. So for both fractions, I'm just gonna label them in miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator. Now it wouldn't matter if you put hours in the numerator and the miles in the denominator, okay? Uh, what we want here is to know how many miles for one hour, though, okay? And the other relationship here is that we got 2,184 miles for 42 hours. Now I've got a proportion, which I can solve using whatever method I want. All right, to cross-multiply here, I've got 2,184 times 1. And this would equal 42 times x. So that would give us 2184 times 1 is itself equals 42x. And to solve for x, I would divide both sides by 42. And that tells me x, which is how many miles for one hour? 52. Now, this technically would be 52 miles, but we wanted a rate on this one. And specifically, it would be 52 miles per one hour, which you could also write as 52 MPH. We still know what that means, too.